MicroHealth and welcome back to Wellness Wednesdays. My name is Jenna Hammer and I'm a personal trainer. And today we will be reviewing the effects of high blood pressure and how we minimize those effects in some short, simple tips. In case you didn't know, May is High Blood Pressure Awareness Month, but also Physical Fitness Month. So let's talk about how these two can go hand in hand. First, higher than normal blood pressure is anything over 120 over 80. So that top number represents the maximum pressure the heart pushes out blood while beating, and that's known as systolic pressure. And then the bottom number represents the amount of pressure in the arteries between beats, known as the diastolic pressure. So when blood pressure becomes too high, there are many side effects like being unable to breathe or hard to breathe. Maybe we have nosebleeds, we have some confusion or dementia, as well as memory loss, as well as being fatigued. We have some digestive issues. You may have to start taking medication, things like that. And then high blood pressure can be caused by such things like diet that's high in saturated fats or salts, um, alcohol, as well as lack of exercise, a family history of high blood pressure, chronic stress, being overweight, smoking, or genetics. As mentioned, we can decrease the risk of high blood pressure. And since May is Physical Fitness Month, let's talk about how you can create a balanced fitness routine to decrease your blood pressure to prevent it from being high. According to the Physical Activity Guidelines, 150 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity per week so this means you could do some walking, running, swimming, biking, hiking, skiing, rowing, jump roping, all of those things that get the heart rate up. As for strength training, it's recommended that two days of strength training day is your cardio days or you could do it on different days. Things like body weight training, lifting weights, isometric training, or playing sports are great examples of strength training. So daily activity not only will help you decrease blood pressure, it will also assist in boosting high positive thoughts, sharpen your focus, increase deep sleep, decrease stress, increase weight loss, and so much more. So let's not ignore the signs. Take your blood pressure when you can, see where it is, make sure you're at a healthy range, and let's get moving. As always, please share some tips and tricks you have in the comments about how others can naturally decrease their blood pressure. And I can't wait to hear from you guys in the comments. Thanks. See you in the next Wellness Wednesday.